Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we are just going to interface 16 cross 2 alphanumeric LCD display with our Teva C series launchpad development board or to our microcontroller TM4C123GH6PM for printing some data onto it in 4 bit mode like this. Let's get started. Okay, now we are just going to discuss about the schematic diagram that we are going to build in a breadboard for displaying some contents on this 16 cross 2 alphanumeric display from our TM4C123 microcontroller or with this Tiva C series launchpad development board. So this is the schematic diagram that we are going to build. You can clearly see we are having 16 terminals in this 16 cross 2 alphanumeric display. And regarding the first terminal which is nothing but the VS pin, we are just going to connect this pin to the ground of the development board. That is the ground of Tiva C series launch pad. And regarding the second pin which is nothing but the VDD, I am just going to make the VDD being connected to the V sub of the Tiva C series launch pad development board. Which is nothing but the direct source that is being fetched from the USB port of the PC. So here you can find that pin, you can clearly see this is the V bus pin. So this is the V bus pin and I will be connecting this pin to VDD of the LCD display and also to the anode terminal of the LCD through 1 kilo ohms resistor. So if you increase the resistance value like 10 kilo ohms, the brightness of the backlight of the LCD will be little lower for increasing the brightness you can also decrease the resistance value so i will be suggesting you to add a one kilo ohms resistor right over here so i will be connecting this v bus pin to this anode terminal through a one kilo ohms resistor and also i will be connecting this same v bus pin to the vdd terminal of the lcd for powering up this lcd display so i'm just sourcing this display from the same power source of the Tiva C series launchpad from my USB port of the PC and regarding the VSS and cathode terminal of the LCD I will be connecting it to the ground of this development board so here you can see this is the ground of the development board so this is the ground of the development board and I will be connecting this pin to the VSS pin and also to the cathode terminal of the LCD display and if you take the third pin which is nothing but the contrast pin of the LCD which is useful for increasing and decreasing the font contrast that is being printed on the LCD display and we will be connecting it to a 10 kilo ohms variable resistor like this. So the center terminal of the variable resistor of 10 kilo ohms will be connected to the VEE pin and if you take other two terminals of the variable resistor one end will be connected to the power source and other end will be connected to the ground. So when I rotate the knob of the variable resistor towards one end, you can clearly see the variation in the font that is being printed on the LCD. So if I move to one extreme end, I will get the maximum contrast and if I move the knob towards the other extreme end, I will be seeing nothing. So this is what happens with the help of this variable resistor and if you take the fourth pin which is nothing but the RS pin. I will be connecting it to the PD0 of the microcontroller and if you take the RW pin I will be connecting it to the PD1 of the microcontroller and if you take the enable pin of the LCD display I will be connecting it to the PD2 of the microcontroller. So this is the circuit connections RS pin will be connected to PD0, RW will be connected to PD1 and enable pin will be connected to PD2. And regarding the data lines, as I mentioned earlier in this video, this is a video for interfacing the 16 cross 2 LCD display in 4 bit mode. So we will be utilizing only the 4 data lines of the LCD for passing the data instead of 8 data lines. So I will be utilizing the MSB data line starting from D4 to D7 and I will be neglecting the connections from D0 to D3. So we will be passing the data in a 4 bit mode. First we will be sending the MSB data 
4 bits data and then we will be passing the LSP 4 bits data to the same MSP data lines D4 to D7. So this is what happens when we program for 4 bit mode. So here is the circuit connection so you can clearly see D4 of the LCD is connected to PE5 of the microcontroller. D5 of the LCD is connected to PE4 of the microcontroller and D6 of the data line of the LCD is connected to PB1 of the microcontroller and finally D7 of the data line of the LCD will be connected to PB0 of the microcontroller. So that's all about the schematic that we are going to build. So I will be building the schematic in a breadboard and I will be making the connections all that is required in the development board like this using jumper cables and let us program this microcontroller for printing some data on the LCD in 4 bit mode. So that was the schematic diagram that I am going to build in a breadboard for interfacing this LCD in 4 bit mode with my Tiva C series launchpad development board and you can see on the screen now the program that I wrote for interfacing the same LCD in 8 bit mode format. So this was done in last lecture right. So in the last one of our videos we just interfaced the same LCD display in 8 bit mode with our Tiva C series launchpad development board. So I am just going to alter this program a little bit for interfacing the same LCD in 4 bit mode. So that is the process that I am going to do. So I am just going to alter this LCD data function, command function and I am going to alter some commands that is the initialization commands required for 4 bit mode in this LCD and then I am just going to alter some of the parts of this print data function for operating in 4 bit mode. So this is what I am just going to do. So I am not going to build the program from scratch because we can alter the program because I have wrote this program from scratch in that video. So if you have missed that video, please watch the video of interfacing 16 cross 2 LCD with TM4C123 microcontroller or with Tiva C series launchpad development board in 8 bit mode. So in that video, I wrote this program from scratch. So now I am just going to alter this program for interfacing the same LCD in 4 bit mode. So as I explained to you the schematic diagram for interfacing this LCD in 4 bit mode, you can clearly understand now that I am just going to neglect the D0, D1, D2 and D3 of the LCD display that is the LSP data lines of the LCD display and I will be passing the data to the LCD only using the MSP data lines D4 to D7. So I can neglect all these LSP data lines of the LCD and in the 8 bit mode format I have connected these four D0, D1, D2 and D3 to PA7, PA6, PA5 and PB4. So I am just going to remove all the configuration segments that is the GPIO configurations that I did in that lecture for these four pins PA5, 6 and 7 and finally PB4. So in this line we are enabling the clock for the GPIO ports right. Here you can clearly see I am neglecting the port A. So these are all the three pins that I have been utilizing from port A and now I don't need this because I am neglecting the LSP data lines of the LCD for interfacing the LCD in 4 bit mode. So I can neglect this since I am not using the port A. I don't want the clock of the port A to be enabled. And through these lines we are just digitalizing the GPIO port pins which we are using for interfacing the LCD in 8 bit mode. And now we don't require PA5, 6 and 7 and PB4 right. So this is the digitalization segment for port A and I am deleting this because I am not using PA5, 6 and 7. And other than that I am just going to neglect this fourth bit from port B because I am also not using this PB4 
which is the d3 pin so i am just deleting this and through these lines we are just configuring all the pins which is connected to lcd as output pins so here also i am just going to delete the gpoa segment in addition to that i am just going to delete this part for pb4 and that's all about the initialization segment for gpio peripheral in our microcontroller for interfacing lcd in 4 bit mode in addition to that coming to the print data function as we discussed in the schematic section we are not going to use d0 to d3 data lines so we don't require these programming lines because you can clearly see only the data lines from d4 to d7 are connected to the microcontroller and d0 to d3 are neglected so i am just going to delete these four segments of this print data function starting from d0 this is for d0 and this if else is for d1 and this if else is for d2 and this if else is for d3 so i am just going to delete all these lines and I am going to pass the data only through the MSP data line starting from D4 to D7. So that's all about the change that you want to do for print data function. And in addition to that, in the LCD initialization function, you just want to configure and give an instruction for configuring the LCD in 4 bit mode utilizing 16 columns and 2 rows. So, I just want to provide the command of 0x28 for configuring the LCD in 4 bit mode utilizing 16 columns and 2 rows in the LCD display instead of 0x38. And that's all about the changes that I want to do in LCD initialization function. And I don't want to change anything in this LCD string. Other than that, I'm just going to change a little bit of programming statements or the methodology that I applied here in LCD data and in LCD command function. So here what we want to do is since we interfaced the microcontroller in 8 bit mode we directly passed the 8 bit of data through the data lines of the LCD and then we performed the sequence of operations for passing the character data to the LCD right over here right. Here also we just passed the 8 bits of data directly to the data lines of the LCD and then we perform the sequence of operations required for passing the instruction data to the LCD. But now what we want to do is we just want to pass the MSP data lines first and then we want to perform sequence of operations for passing the character data to the LCD and after that again we just want to pass the LSP data lines placed in the MSP part of the byte and after that again we want to perform the sequence of operations required for passing the character data to the LCD and the same sequence we just want to apply to the command function also let me just perform the sequence first in the LCD data function first step that I want to perform is here I can directly pass and perform the same operations as per the programming lines located right over here and after that what I want to do is again I just want to perform the same operation now with the difference that I just want to pass the data left shifted by four times. So let's try to understand this with an example LCD data of 1. So the hexadecimal representation for this character 1 is nothing but 0x31. Here in 0x31 the 3 is MSB part and 1 is LSB part. So for printing this character 1 I just want to pass this hexadecimal data to the data lines of the LCD. So now since we have interfaced the LCD or since we have utilized only the MSP data lines of the LCD and we have completely neglected the LSB data lines of the LCD. In the first step inside the function what happens is that the hexadecimal 3 will be passed to the 
data lines of the LCD through this programming line. You can clearly see only the MSP data lines are utilized right over here in the print data function and we have completely neglected the LSP data lines in this print data function. So when I pass the data byte 0x31 or the character 1, only the hexadecimal 3 will be transmitted to the data lines of the LCD. That is the 4 bits of data that is available in the MSB part of the byte will be transmitted to the D4 to D7 of the LCD. And after successful transmission, I am just going to perform this sequence of operations required for passing the character data to the LCD. And after successful completion of transmission of MSB part of 4 bits of data, again I am just going to pass the same data byte with left shifted by 4 times. So the same data byte is 0x31 when I left shift this by 4 times, what happens is this 3 will be completely neglected and it will be moved beyond the 8 bits and only this 1 will be available in the MSP part of the byte. Now you can see the LSP part of the byte that is 1 now is available in the MSP part of the byte. So through this line what happens is the 1 will be transmitted. So this line is useful for passing the data 0x3 and this line is useful for passing the 0x1. So successfully we have transmitted 3 1 in two sequential operations and after the transmission of 1 again I am performing the sequence of operations required for passing the character data to the LCD. So in this manner by splitting the 8 bit data into two parts I am just going to transmit the MSP part of the byte first and again I am just going to move the LSP part of the byte to MSP part and I am going to transmit that to through the MSB part of the data lines of the LCD. So this is how we are just going to transmit data to the LCD data lines using only the 4 bits of data lines of the LCD. So this is how the LCD can operate in 4 bit manner. So that's all about the change that I want to do for LCD data function. In a similar fashion I am just going to perform the same operation for command function also. And that's it. You can clearly see we have changed the print data function and we have changed the configuration instructions for initializing the LCD in 4 bit mode utilizing 16 columns and 2 rows. And we have successfully altered the LCD command and data functions for transmitting the 8 bits of data into two parts. One is the MSB part of the byte, and again, after transmitting the MSB part, we are just passing the LSB part of the byte right over here using this programming line. So we have already altered the command function also and now we are expecting the same output that we got in interfacing LCD in 8 bit mode with our Tiva C series launchpad development board that is nothing but I am just instructing the LCD cursor to move to first row first column of the LCD and I am going to print the data embedded. And after that, I am just instructing the cursor of the LCD to move to second row first column of the LCD and I am going to print the data systems. Now I am building this program. You can see 0 errors and 0 warnings. Now I am dumping this program to my Tiva C series launchpad development board. I am just connecting my development board to the PC. Now. I am just dumping the program to my Tiva C series launchpad development board. The download is successful. So now you can see I have connected my 16 cross 2 alphanumeric LCD to my breadboard and I have connected a potentiometer to the VEE pin that is a 10 kilo ohms variable resistor has been connected to the VEE pin of this LCD as per the schematic. And also you can see I have connected a 220 ohms resistor from the anode pin of this LCD and I have connected that to the positive rail of the circuit that is the 5 volt signal or 3.3 volt signal of the circuit and regarding the cathode terminal I have connected this cathode terminal to the ground of this circuit 
and also the VSS pin of the LCD is connected to the ground rail and positive VDD pin has been connected to the positive rail. So this horizontal rail is meant to be supplied with the 3.3 volt power source or 5 volt power signal and this horizontal line or rail in this breadboard is useful for providing the ground to the circuit of the LCD. So we will be connecting this ground of the circuit to the ground of the development board and we will be connecting this to the power supply of the development board and uh, you can see I have connected a 10 kilo ohms variable resistor center terminal to the VEE pin of this LCD and other two terminals of this variable resistor that is the left terminal has been connected to the ground of the circuit and the right terminal has been connected to the power supply rail of the circuit. So this is the basic connection that I have made in this breadboard for this 16 cross 2 alphanumeric LCD and let us make the connection between this LCD data lines RS, RW and enable pin with this Tiva C series launchpad development board. So as per the schematic that I just now showed to you on the screen, we are just going to make the connection. As per the schematic, I am just going to connect the RS pin of this LCD to the RD0 of this development board. You can see RD0 is right over here this pin is the rd0 so i don't want to show this pin notes to you as i showed you the pin notes just now before few minutes so i'm just making the connection between the rs pin and pd0 of this microcontroller and nextly i'm just going to connect the rw pin of this lcd to pd1 of the microcontroller so here is the pd1 I have connected it and enable pin of this LCD I am just connecting it to the PD2 of this development board or the microcontroller and so now I have connected the RSRW and enable of this LCD to PD0, 1 and 2 of this microcontroller and as per the schematic that I have shown to you which is a schematic of connecting this LCD in 4 bit mode to this microcontroller. I have utilized only the data lines D4, 5, 6 and 7 of this LCD. So I am just going to connect the D4 of this LCD. So here you can see here I am having the D4. I am just connecting the D4 of this LCD to PE5 of this development board. So here you can see the PE5 is located right over here. I am just going to connect this to PE5. And then I am just going to connect the D5 of this LCD to the PE4 which is next pin to the PE5. And then I am just going to connect D6 of this LCD to PB1 which is the sequential pin to the PE5 you can see here I am having you can see here I am having the legend P54, PB1 and PB0. So the next D7 will be connected to PB0. PB1. So that's all about the data lines required for this LCD to operate in 4 bit mode and I just want to produce the power supply for this circuit. So I am just connecting the power rail of this LCD that is this one to the V bus of this development board. Here you can see here I am having the V bus which is the voltage supply for this Tiva series from the USB port of the PC and I am just going to connect the ground of this LCD to ground of this Tiva C series launchpad development board. So I have connected the ground to the ground of this Tiva C series launchpad. So that's all about the connections that we want to do.
Let us see the output in the hardware. So this is the output which I got in my hardware and we have successfully printed the data on the 16 cross 2 alphanumeric LCD using 4 bit mode from our microcontroller TM4C123. You can see only the 4 data lines of the LCD is utilized from the GPIO pins of the microcontroller and the data has been printed. So in this manner I have successfully interfaced the 16 cross 2 alphanumeric LCD display with our Tiva C series launchpad development board in 4 bit mode. I hope you learned something new in this video. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.